Karnataka has a variety of traditional arts, including folk dance and puppetry. Kunatha, a ritual dance The ritual dances of Karnataka are known as Kunatha. One such dance is the Dolu Kunatha, a popular dance form accompanied by singing and the beats of decorated drums. This dance is primarily performed by men from the shepherd or karuba caste. The Dolu Kunatha is characterized by vigorous drum beats, quick movements and synchronized group formations. Kodagu The Huttari dance and contemporary theatre culture in Karnataka is one of the most vibrant in India with organisations like Nainasam, Ranga Shankara and Rangayana active On foundations laid down by the Gubi Virana Nataka company Bolak Aat are dance forms in Kodagu. The Kodavas are a unique group who differ in customs, traditions and religion from the surrounding populace, and have an annual harvest dance. The men, dressed in traditional Kodava costumes with decorative knives, perform this slow dance to background music. The dance has different varieties. Bullock Aat Performed by Kodava men in back of an oil lamp in an open field. The men hold chivari yak fur in one hand and the Kodava short sword Odi Kati in the other while performing this dance. Regional varieties of this dance exist in which performers dance with the chivari and not the short sword. When the Odi Kati is also used, the dance is known as Katayata. The duty, an hourglass-shaped drum, provides the rhythm. Ummat Aat Performed by Kodava women, who wear traditional Kodava dress with jewelry, adorn their foreheads with kumkuma and dance in a circle to a swinging rhythm, brass cymbals in hand. A woman stands at the center holding a pot full of water to represent Kaveri Tayi, Mother Kaveri, whom the Kodavas worship. Kombaat While the Bullock Aat and the Ummat Aat are celebratory and festive, the Kombaat is a religious dance. It is traditionally performed in temples, but may also be performed in other places. Performed by Kodava men, deer horns represent the horns of the Krishnamaruga a spotted deer in Kodava legend. The dance is performed to rhythmic tunes played on wind instruments and percussion, and includes martial movements representing techniques used by the Kodavas in warfare. <laughs> Mysore region. Topic. Dolu Kunatha This is a group dance named after the Dolu used in its performance, and performed by the men of the Karuba community. The group consists of 16 dancers, each wearing a drum and playing different rhythms while dancing. The beat is directed by a leader with cymbals in the center. Slow and fast rhythms alternate, and the group weaves a varied pattern. Costumes are simple, the upper part of the body is usually left bare, while a black sheet is tied on the lower body over the dhoti. A troop led by K.S. Haridas Bhatt toured the USSR in 1987, performing in Moscow, Leningrad, Vyborg, Archangels, PSKOV, Murmansk, Tashkent and Novograd. Bizu Samsail and Kamsail Enritya This is a group dance performed by village men in the Mysore, Nanjanagudu, Kalegala and Bangalore regions. It is named after the kamsail, which is played and is a prop by the dancers. The kamsail is a cymbal in one hand and a bronze disc in the other, producing a rhythmic clang. The kamsail enritya is connected to a tradition of worship of male Mahadeshwara Shiva by the Karuba community, from which most of the dancers are drawn. The dance is performed to rhythmic, melodious music sung in praise of Shiva. It is part of a dayaksha oath, and is taught by a spiritual leader. This dance was showcased in Kannada films such as Janumata Jodi and Jogi, in which the protagonist is a kamsail dancer. <laughs> Samana Kunita Samana Kunita the mask dance is a celebratory form of guardian spirit worship popular in southern Karnataka, performed primarily in village shrines dedicated to the mother goddess by the Gangamata community. 
The dance is characterized by elaborate masks somas painted in a variety of colors, with each mosque's color indicating the god's nature. A benevolent deity is represented by a red mask, while a yellow or black mask suggests the opposite. There are many types of masks, differing from region to region. Samana Kunatha is a ritualistic dance associated with worship of the Grama Devate village deity, and is primarily celebrated after Ugadi and before the onset of the monsoon at Maha Shivaratri. It is most popular in the Old Mysore region, in districts such as Hassan, Tumkur, Bangalore, Mandya and Chitradurga. On the ceremonial day, offerings are made to the spirits. The masks are made from the red sandalwood tree. Other props include a cane or stick and peacock feathers. A small hat with colorful flowers, neem leaves and colorful strips of cloth is also worn. Music is provided by the duna percussion, mori pipe, and sad a pipe for the sruti. The dancer begins in the temple of the goddess, singing praise of the guardian spirit in a trance-like state. An offering of the blood of a fowl is sometimes made to the goddess. <laughs> North Karnataka <laughs> Jagahilaga Kunita This is a folk art of the Hubali Darwad region, particularly the village of Bayahati, which is performed on occasions such as Ugadi and Holi. The Jagalig is a percussion instrument made from a bullock cart wheel wrapped in buffalo hide. The villagers roll out the large instruments and march in procession. The performance is directed by a choreographer playing a much smaller percussion instrument called the Kanihaliji, made of clay and covered with calf hide. The performance usually involves about 15 people. Mahal. This is popular group folk music in North Karnataka, performed during occasions and in processions. The karadi or karade is the percussion instrument used by the group. It is a palm-sized cymbal producing metallic sounds, and the shanae produces the melody. Krishna Parajatha Krishna Parijatha is theatre popular in North Karnataka. It is a combination of Yakshagana and Bayalata, portraying stories or scenes from the Mahabharata. Lavani This folk dance of Maharashtra is also present in some parts Karnataka. Dakshina Kannada Topic: Buddha Aradhan. This dance form is widely performed in coastal regions. The Buddha Aradhan Gana worship includes a procession of idols and is characterized by drums and firecrackers. At the end of the procession, the idols are placed on a plinth. A dancer, personifying a Buddha, Holy Spirit, dances around the plinth with sword and jingling bells. The dancer dances quickly and then slows, signifying that he is now divine. Yakshagana Yakshagana is not folk art but a popular traditional theatre of India performed in coastal and Malinadu regions which is a blend of dance, music, songs, scholarly dialogue and colourful costumes. The word means, celestial music, and the dance drama is performed during the night usually after the winter crop has been harvested. Arts common to most regions Hagalu <laughs> Veshagaru This is a group of itinerant actors in Karnataka who specialize in unscripted miming, no stage or facility is used. The artists move from place to place, pitching tents and offering to perform. They play a variety of mythological, legendary and real characters. Performances draw from daily life, and sometimes full-length plays are staged. They perform Vachana Sahityas by Sarvagna, Basavana and others. 
The harmonium, the tabla daga and a pair of cymbals provide melody and rhythm. For their performances, staged in village squares and fairs, the actors receive food collected in a bag by an assistant accompanying the troupe. Most Hagalu Veshagoreras belong to the Virashaiva tradition, while some are Muslims. Sometimes they are addressed as Jayadagaru, belonging to the Muslim community. They are also known as Sudugadu Siddha, monks of the cemetery, or Bahurupi, having many disguises. As their name suggests, they perform primarily during the day and only men take part including female roles. While entertainment is the main objective, the Hagalu Veshigararu also educate villagers about mythology and social issues with their performances. Goravara <laughs> Kunita Goravara Kunita is a dance worshipping Shiva which is popular in the Mysore and North Karnataka regions. In North Karnataka the Gauravas worship Mylaralinga. In South Karnataka the Gauravas wear black and white woolen garments and a black bear fur cap of black bear, and play the Damaru and the Pilinguvi flute. In North Karnataka the Gauravas wear black woolen garments and a leather shoulder bag, some wear a black coat and white dhoti. The dancers rub crimson powder and vibhuti sacred ash on their foreheads. Traditional Gaurava devotees dance in a trance, sometimes barking like dogs. The dancers move in a clockwise zigzag, with no fixed choreography. The North Karnataka Gauravas wear yellow powder on their foreheads and give prasad to devotees. Damaru, venue, small bronze bells and cowbells are played. The dance consists of trance-like movements with no fixed choreography. Nagamandala This ritual dance is performed in South Karnataka to tranquilize the serpent spirit, and is an extravagant night-long affair. The dancers Vedias dance all night around a huge figure, drawn on the ground in natural colors, in a pandal in front of the shrine. The dance is generally performed between December and April. Karaga. The karaga, in a dance performed by the Thigalas, is a metal pot on which stands a tall, floral pyramid and which is balanced on the carrier's head. The contents of the pot are secret. The carrier's arrival is heralded by hundreds of bare-chested, dhoti-clad, turbaned virakumaras with unsheathed swords. Gorudi <inaudible> Gombe <inaudible> Gorudi Gombe is a folk dance in which dancers dress in suits made of bamboo sticks. Gorudi Gombe means, magical puppet, in Kannada. The dance is performed during major festivals and in the procession held during the Mysore Dussehra, and is known as Tataraya in the coastal regions. Tataraya means, someone carrying a doll made of bamboo sticks. The dance features masks, puppets and colorful regional costumes. The puppets are made from bamboo and papier mache, painted with suitable makeup. During the fair and festival procession to the temple, the giant dolls are the central attraction to spectators. The dolls are hollow and permit a person to get inside, carry the structure on his shoulders, and dance, while being able to see. The dolls are used for fun and to ward off evil spirits, depicting characters from Indian mythology and folklore. The dance is performed to the tamate and dolu, a percussion instrument. Each doll weighs 10 to 12 kilograms, 22 to 26 pounds, and stand 10 to 12 feet, 3.0 to 3.7 meters tall. During the procession, some performers wear character masks and interact with the dolls. Itinerant performers dressed as a tiger, hulivsha, or bear, karate vesha, with dancing monkeys are common in South India. Topic: <laughs> Judu Halagi. The judu halagi is performed with two percussion instruments. The halagi is round, made of buffalo hide and played with a short stick. The dance is characterized by high energy and exaggerated expressions by two or three performers. Puppetry Tagalu gambayada is a type of shadow puppetry which is unique to Karnataka. The name meaning a play with leather dolls. In Kannada, 
The Karnataka Chitrakala Parishat has researched this art form, and has an extensive collection of leather puppets. Viragas dance Viragas, a vigorous dance based on Hindu mythology, is one of the dances performed at the Mysore Dussehra. It is primarily performed during the Hindu months of Shravana and Karthika. See also Karnataka Janapada Loka equals equals notes <laughs>